Great. Wayne, good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You? Uh, yeah, very well, thank you. Um, first of all, how is Mike? Uh, uh, yeah, suffering with COVID, it seems. I know the wind would have helped, but uh, how is he? Yeah, he's um, he's a lot better today. Um, I've spoken to him a couple of times this morning. Uh, and he's, yeah, he sounds a lot better. He's a bit um, worse for wear yesterday, I think. Uh, still uh, fatigued, etc. But he, he, he's all right. How is he yeah, as a patient? I could be, I could be a saying? bit more harsh than that, but um, yeah, he's going soft on me, isn't he? I was going to say, how is he as a patient? Will he actually rest and let you get on with it, or is he non-stop? Oh, it, this would this would be his worst nightmare. Yeah, um, being stuck indoors. <laughs> Obviously, he's got you know he's got the boys as Vic as well, and um, yeah, I'm I I feel sorry for the the two boys and for Vic really, but it's. Yeah, he won't, he won't like it. It's because it's, it's both, in a way, I suppose it's just taken out of his control, isn't it? And, um, you know, obviously he's been the manager here for such a long time that he's used to that that that, that control. So it's it's um, it's obviously come at a bad time, but, you know, his it's house more important than, than anything and just make sure he, he, he comes back and he's, you know, he gets better. That's it, really. I'm sure he'll be disappointed, not just to miss a big game, but perhaps most importantly, a real homecoming at Rodney Parade. It's been a long old time. Yeah, I think obviously I know we had fans against Forest Green, but I know it wasn't many. Um, really strange that sort of evening as well. But I think it was March the seventh that we had we had fans, you know, as normal as we call it. But yeah, uh, it'd be um, I think it was Morecambe at home and. Uh, there wouldn't have been, there wouldn't have been over five thousand um, against Morecambe. So I know it, it, it'd be, it's going to be there, that sort of crowd tomorrow. So it's going to be good. And obviously, it would have been the first game back, and um, with things getting back to normal, it's um, yeah, it's one that we're going to look forward to. But yeah, sadly, he's not going to be here. But um, he'll be watching it up. He'll be watching from home. It's fitting in a way, isn't it? That it's such a big game against a Premier League side. But the first time you're able to get a significant amount of fans back, it's a, it's almost like a typical Newport County game under the lights. Yeah, well, yeah, I hope so. Um, I'm just, yeah, really excited to just to sit hear the noise behind us again. We've not, um, not heard that for a while, and it's it's been it's been the other way, obviously, because we've been away. You know, and we've had some tough places to go to, and you know, they've been some big crowds as well, and it's uh it'd be nice for a change that they're actually with us um, in giving the opposition bench or the opposition players making it difficult for them because that's what that's what happens to us when we go away. So, uh, yeah, it'd be, you know, be a bit of payback, really. But, it's, yeah, it'd just be good to just to see them all back, really. And, um, yeah, so we, hopefully we can put smiles on their faces tomorrow. I wonder if you'll be thinking the same 10 minutes in when uh, the help, shall we say, from the supporters in our terrace behind the dugout comes your way. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I do. It's that, it's the, you know, even just like the little things I've said in previous interviews with uh, the referees, you know, little things like that. I think it can, it can, it can have a little bit more of a, an effect on the players as in maybe just giving that little bit extra and, and then hopefully them sort of little decisions that a home fan, you know, can can sway. Um, hopefully they go our way, and then you know, hopefully we can, like I said, we we got our work cut out, but because um, they're obviously a Premier League outfit, but we'll uh, we're going there. It's a free hit. We'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, and then we'll hopefully give them a game. You've enjoyed it uh, against Premier League sides in the past. The ninth of the top, current top tier that you're going to be facing over the over recent years. Um, perhaps, though, not the best time to have a slick playing surface when you're up against a team like Southampton. Yeah, I think the water might go off tomorrow. Um, I don't think the water's been... Uh, something wrong with the, the water sprinkler system, I think, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, it won't be, that, won't be that great. In all seriousness, we all know the issues with the pitch at Rodney Parade over the years. The work's been done. It's been done 
to your advantage now and, and the, the new style that you and, and Mike have introduced over the last season, how much are you looking forward to, to that? Yeah, no, obviously, the, you know, the pitch was, has had its, had its um, stories in the past and but at the moment it looks, it looks unbelievable. So uh, yeah, as, as we were at the start of last season when it was still quite good and, you know, we played some really good stuff on it. Obviously we played Swansea and Watford, Newcastle quite early. Um, and we, you know, we, we demonstrated how good a team we were in possession and, you know, playing out from the back as well. It was, um, you know, we had the rotations in midfield, et cetera. We worked a hell of a lot on that during pre-season and it was good to see it come off in games like that. And we had a lot of plaudits from from other managers as well about how well we're playing and how well we, we um, how well we sort of just play, you know what I mean? As in, you know, whether it's, there's a, there's a process to what we do and then principles behind it and, and it's always good that the players buy into it, you know. And we've had to. We, that takes a lot of work in pre-season, a lot of video analysis, a lot of, um, you know, time on the training pitch, and that. And that's that's what you know we've had here. We've had time, you know. It's 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 evolved, but you know because we've been here a long time, we've been able to implement things steadily along the way. And obviously, then we've had then had the recruitment to add, you know, to to link in with that and. That's been the key for us, obviously doing quite well. But you know, we had, last year we had to adapt to the pitch being in two different states as such, and you know, just we we fell short on that that home bit when it went you know badly. But listen, I think this year is going to be completely different. So um, yeah, it's important we uh, we get, you know we we'll get the pitch looking as good as we can get it and playing some good football on it like a you lot know, like I know we can. Hello. Yeah, hopefully that's a uh, you get off to a good start. Oh, on <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little bit of a glitch in. Uh, I don't know whether it's my end or your end, Wayne. Uh, hopefully it all gets off to a good start uh, against Southampton. Um, I have to ask, you know, Mike's suffering with COVID. Any of the other players, are they all OK? Has it been contained? And how are you looking injury wise? Um, no, we're, we're fine. We all got tested yesterday. Um, yeah, all, all, all positive, um, all negative, sorry, all positive news. Um, yeah, so it was, injuries been, we'll have, um, I think we got a fresh board apart from probably Mickey, but that's, that's the only one. And in terms of a team selection, you know, you, you made a lot of changes for the last round against Ipswich. I yeah. know you've got a squad you want to give people a chance, but is there a risk to make too many changes against the Premier League side? I uh, totally agree. We, yeah, it's a it's a it's a trade off really at the moment. We've had a tough away game at Tranmere. We've got we've got another tough away game coming up at Salford. The travelling that we've had as well, obviously with Ipswich. You know, it, it the team's not decided at the moment. So um, yeah, we're 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 going to try and leave that to a little bit later, really. But everyone come through training today, so that was that was the you know, best bit of news. And it's about seeing who's in the best um, the best you know condition, really, to be able to cope with with dealing with the three games that we've we've had in the space of seven days. But yeah, we're, we're we're having to. It's a bit of a trade off, but we're having to look at both, um, as in who we could rest and who we can and. You know, still staying strong, but you know, the all the players here that have been brought in are are like you see at Ipswich are are trusted, and they proved that night that they, you know, they're they're more than capable. So um, whoever plays will be um, will be you know will be trusted in what we do, and uh, they will do that hopefully to the best of their ability. So we've got I've got, got no issues with. With any changes that may happen, or, or you know, if we stick with a couple of um, older stalwarts as such, but yeah, probably know a little bit more later on. Wayne, thanks for your time. The very best of luck. Thank you. Hi, oh, Wayne. How you doing, Chris? Of, not bad, not bad. Um, Ronnie Parade. It's a great ground when it's jam packed, and you'll be back over, and the Hazel 
the hazel star side with the proper dugout and yes. what, what sort of a lift will it will it give the players if you give them something to cheer as well yeah well if we can it'd be it'd be brilliant um yeah just got us, you know and it's going to be that early that that early nerves that you know that that atmosphere as well but we just got to go there and we have got to soak it up you know we've been some of the players that were signed obviously here that haven't even been to Rodney before, you know, so it's, uh, it's, you know, I had to remind them yesterday of where we were going, <laughs> um, you know, and obviously, you know, it's going to be Rodney Parade and it's like, that's our home ground. If some of you don't know, you know, it's one of them, but it, we're going to, we're going to go there and enjoy it. And I think all the players will, will enjoy it. And when we go over for the, you know, the clap that obviously we've had the warm up, then, then we do a little sprint in front of the, um, the hazel, that, that always sort of gets the hair standing up on the back of your neck a little bit and tomorrow, because it obviously is going to be, you know, say nearly a full house, but there'll be a lot more in the ground a bit earlier on. So you, the, the players will be soaking that up a lot earlier than normal, you know? So, yeah, I think maybe that first contentious decision that the ref might not give our way and them sort of things will, will all come back. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know the players are... Uh, will um, use it as a, you know, say as a, a positive that, you know, they're going to use that energy that they're going to create. And um, like I say, we can hopefully just give them a game. But Fellini, occasionally on the big games, he'd, he'd wear a suit suddenly. You, are you going to be still tracksuit or are you a... I thought, um, I, I, I sort of said yesterday on, on the sky, but, you know, Ralph was in a, a waistcoat on... Um, Sunday uh, versus May United, so I might, I might, I might match him and wear a waistcoat or something. But I'd have to dig quite deep in my, um, my wardrobe to find one, I think. But it, it's going to be the tracksuit for me. I'm afraid I won't be a. I, am, I don't want to be. I don't want to be the manager. You know. Yeah. Just find for me on the, the sort of injury and selection side of things. It is. Um, it is playing the long games, still, isn't it? With Salford coming up, and as you said. After Tramir, you didn't want to risk Matty Dolan, even though he could have played. Yeah, yeah. it's weighing up because how how is the squad? Are they not okay. feeling it? But are they no, they're, no, are they no, they're not. They're, they're they're well. They they were yesterday because it's like their second day, sort of. You know, it sort of mm. it kicks in. You know, that Monday. So we're always good with them with a second day recovery to the group on the Monday. Um. Yeah, there was a, there was a couple of you know stiff bodies, but it is the it, I think it's the travelling as well, you know, that's took its toll. But we they're they're, they're right again today, which is a, a good sign. But that's why we knew what the schedule was. We knew, so we prepared the best we can, and now we have we've done that down to a T at the moment. So um, pre season's always tough here, so they're fit. Um, I think, you know, we've had that um, over the last four or five years. Everyone, you know, we've always started quite well. Um, and that, that's, that's carried on again. So I, I know, I know they won't, it won't be through lack of fitness that um, we are struggle. So it's just managing everything else around it, their recovery time and the, and the travel and, the, you know, they get a good night's sleep and how we do that um, beforehand and what they eat has been, you know, it's all key to it, but. I think we've prepared really well and we got one more way trip, obviously, but, um, you know, Salford will be rubbing our hands that we've got a really tough game in Southampton, I suppose. But, you know, that's, that's, up, to, that's up to them, isn't it? But we'll be, we'll be ready, don't worry. Yeah, all good. Good luck. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Wayne, what, what did you do on Saturday? You, you didn't have anyone to turn to for advice uh, or do you get Mike on the phone? Um, no, I have... Um, I have people for advice. I've got, obviously, staff-wise, we've um, we've employed Jared Harvey now, so he's come in new this year. Um, I got Jim, obviously, Jim Holman, the goalkeeping coach as well. Um, you know, we're all we're all quite, you know, we're all very close. You know, we're all trusted in what we what we say and what we think, what we yeah. see. Um, it, same as when the gaffer is here. So. Um, that would that was that never changed for Saturday. I didn't. It was still just obviously with no gaffer being there. But 
he was he was on the end of the phone with Jim. Obviously, he was linked up to him. Um, we spoke um, briefly, I'll say before the game, and then um, he wanted it to leave it to me as such. So he didn't want me, you know, worrying about what what to sort of just you know. I mean, as in just sort of keep on yeah. the phone to him or anything that like I needed me to concentrate on the game, which is which was the right thing to do. Um, and then we spoke again at half time um, before I, before I sat down with the players discussed any sort of changes and then anything that we was going to look at doing. It was just about that planning, that planning phase really, then yeah. that, for any scenario that may have happened. But we, like I've said before, we've, um, yeah. you know, we, we, we plan that, you know, every week anyway, whether we, you know, when he's here or when he's not. So it's, yeah. uh, it's always discussed in what we do. Um, and then, yeah, it was just good that it worked out the way we wanted it. And obviously we, you know. We, no, it was a great um, result last week. Yeah, it was know, a good result. Tough place to go, as you said. Yeah. Yeah, I was um I was mightily relieved on on Saturday night when I was travelling home. That's for sure. That would have sent a message to the rest of the league too, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, I I, I would say so. Um, yeah, they every team that that we play, I think they always know that they're in a game. They're in a they're in a big game with Newport now. I think yeah. that's how far we've come. Um, they they know that they got to be really at it, really um, well organised. You know that's. That was probably one of the better, one of the best away performances I've seen from us for a very, very long time. As in, how we dominated possession, even away from home at a really intimidating place. Mm. Um, yeah, and how we started to dictate the game from from where we were playing out from the back or or through midfield. Um, that was, and then we had the you know the likes of Jermaine and Finn that were then the, our creators and Robbie as well. So. Yeah, we had we had a, we had different elements to it, which was good. We could we had different solutions to what what they what you know they they tried to play against us. They weren't sure what shape we were going to do, stuff like that. So we kept them guessing all day long, really, which was which is pleasing from my point of view, as in when you're working or coaching, you know that that was what we, you know we was looking at. So yeah, pleasing, great result, um, and it's hopefully set us up for you know hopefully we can just go and enjoy tomorrow night. So what did you make of uh, Southampton's draw? Um, I thought they were they're very well organised. Um, it seemed to be especially without the ball, which you know you'd you'd, you'd expect that they'd have come up against Man United with that you know being you know a top top Europe's you know top you know yeah. Premier side. Um, yeah, then then everything else that he's installed at the club then come out. You know when they. They press. They, you know, they're really good on the press, and then when they, you know, they've got some, they got a physicality to them as well. So that yeah. was, um, that was then prevalent to see as such. It was, I thought, mm, they're um, they're quite strong in what they do, and then when they're in good possession, they've got the likes of Armstrong, who's you know, who's quick. Um, Che Adams, you know, is strong and quick as well, and and it was, they had a different dimension when they when they attacked as well. Um, obviously, he took off here. Walcott. I didn't know if that was tactical or not. So they've all they've always got you know a couple of ball carriers as well with Ward Prowse things like that. Whether they might not play, but you know, I was I was, I was pleased in what I thought they deserved a the point because they um when they went one or obviously Man United equalised. Yeah. It was it was I thought oh here we go it'd be be back to the wall, but it wouldn't. They um they seem to then start to dictate play and yeah. you know, they should have won the game probably if you you look at it with the chances, but. Yeah, it's just it. Obviously, I was looking at more of the bench who was going to come on, who would maybe then start possibly on Wednesday for him. But if you look at it, he's played in the past in his cup games. He's played Shrewsbury, I think, and he played quite a you know he played a lot of the I say we call so 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 called big hitters. You know, he went really strong against them. So he may do his own work on Newport and. You know, go strong. We don't. We got. We can. I can't control that. But yeah, I, I just hope he, he. I think he really respects us, and um, I think he has sent quite a strong team. Yeah. Of all the teams you've played from the first division or Premier League now, where would you rate Southampton? Um, to know we haven't played them yet. No. Well, um, okay. We're looking. I, I mean, watched them last weekend. Are they? Are they on a par with Newcastle, Brighton? Are they up there with Leicester? Or where? Where do you? Um, yeah, good question. They're 
obviously we played Newcastle last year that I think they're better than them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, where did they finish last year? I don't know. 13 or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Um, oh, but they're, they're a good team, certainly. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, listen, yeah, you, they stayed in the Premier League a long time. They're, 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 they're more than good. Yeah. So yeah. who does the pre-match speech then? Do you have a, a recorded message from Flinney or does he, you know, Churchillian style, you know, with a big cigar, come on, yeah, be yeah. the victory and all that? Or what happens? Um, it's shared, probably. We, I do, I do the team meeting um, and then he do... He'll do the stuff before the game. So, so how's he going to do that this t- tomorrow? He won't. I, I, I'll, I'll do it. So he's not going to be involved in any sense in that. N- no. No. Right. No. Um, yeah. It's um. It just it it, it take, I'm not saying it takes away from. Um. But he 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 was very conscious of the feel, you know, and and that's what he is. You, yeah. That's why he sort of left me alone before the game and while the game's sort of going on because you. His feel for it, watching at home, is completely different to being in the stadium and seeing it with your eyes yeah. while you do, you know, while you're doing it. Now players are reacting, etc. So it, 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 he's wet, he's very well aware of that, and um, yeah, that's why he's left it. You know, he's left yeah. it. To me. Yeah, safe hands, good hands. Oh yeah. yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah, let, let's hope it works as well. We we love the cup games. Yeah, thanks, fella. See you tomorrow. Thank you.